Aloha! Today's assignment, we're going to learn about wax resist. For this assignment, you need your paper, a pencil, crayons, brush, water, watercolors, and a paper towel. On your paper, you're going to draw something that you really love to draw, that you feel good about, because this is just practicing a skill. So, of course, I'm going to do a flower. Now we're going to use crayons. You must use crayons because this is a wax resist project. The wax and the crayons will help resist the paint when we paint over it. I'm choosing white because I love the way white gets revealed once you start painting on it with darker colors. Outline all areas that you drew and any additional designs that you want to show up whenever you paint. Now it's time to paint. So I'm going to dip my brush in the water because I'm using watercolors today and I choose my first color. When you first use watercolors, you might need a little more water to get it to spread, but after a while, it'll spread quite nicely. Try to stay in the lines. Painting is slightly more difficult. I always cover my space, so if I go off my page, I don't uh, mess up the surface that I'm painting on. and fill in the areas that you want to paint. And as you start painting, you're going to start seeing the wax to resist the paint as it gets closer to the edges that you outlined. Now that I'm finished painting my main object in my picture, I'm going to make sure I paint the background. Now I added a few little extra things using my white crayon. So as you, I begin painting it, you're going to get to see some extra little swirls that are going to show up. I'm choosing contrasting colors or colors that will kind of stand out from the colors I already have on my project. You want this to be complete, so make sure that you paint your background as well as the object in the center of your project. My project is now complete. I want you to have lots of fun. I can't wait to see what you create. Aloha.